a French bread pizza pepperoni. Instead of just red sauce, we're making pepperoni sauce. What do I mean by that? Oh, there's pepperoni in the sauce? What? Yes, there is. So we're gonna start our red sauce for our uh, French bread pizza number one. Maybe let's put it on this burner, it's a little stronger. And we're going to take two, three ounces, uh, about a quarter of a stick I used there, and I grated, I literally grated it on the grater, the small side of the grater. I grated a little pepperoni. Oh, look at that. The pepperoni has rendered out. So now we're going to grate right into the pan a little garlic. Boop, boop, boop. You could also use granulated garlic if you want to make this super fast and quick. So I've mixed it up over here. I'm showing you dried herbs and fresh herbs because you can mix and match. To the same sauce I just put fresh garlic, I'm gonna add a little granulated onion, okay? So we don't have to wait for the onion to cook out. And instead of fresh oregano that I have to strip and chop, I'm gonna add a sprinkle of dried oregano. Fine. I'm gonna put in a pinch of red pepper flake. And that's optional, because you got the pepperoni for goodness sake, right? And I'm gonna put in a little fresh parsley, because I was chopping it for garnishes anyway, but I could easily use dried, no big deal. Uh, now to our back pan here, we're going to add a little fire roasted tomato, and a little tomato sauce. And then if you have some in the house, a little torn basil. The one thing I do not buy dried is basil. So the basil, if I didn't have it in the house, and just make the sauce without it. And now we're gonna let that just hang out. So each tray that I have here has one large loaf of your like regular grocery store variety, super large, soft French bread, not a super crunchy baguette. So each French bread will give you, will yield four French bread pizzas. You have it horizontally and across, okay? And then I lightly toasted it in the oven. And I mean, you can see there's no color on this, but it's nice and firm. We want it to be toasted lightly so it stands up and doesn't fall apart once we put our toppings on. Here's our pepperoni sauce. So I try and gauge this so I don't waste any food. So I wanna make sure there's enough sauce for each bread. So I make the first pass. Then I can go back and load up a little more. Now I'm gonna take the back of my spoon, or paddle I should say, and kind of spread that out a little, mush it around. This is provolone, mozzarella, and pecorino, so AKA sheep's milk cheese, with red pepper in it, see? So this combo is tangy. Oh, it's so delicious and amazing together. It's tangy, it's spicy. And here's how I do this. I do one pass of the cheese. I'm gonna mess, I'm gonna mess you up on this one. You're gonna go, what? Okay. Then we're gonna take pepperoni, slices, more pepperoni on the pepperoni pizza, please. And we're gonna scatter these all over. And then we finish up with the extra cheese. So I do center oven about 450, cause everything's cooked and all we're trying to do is melt the cheese. So we'll just pop these in there for a few minutes. 